Hi there, this is Holly from Let's Plan making a tutorial video to show you how you would download the GoodNotes sticker books onto your iPad. So I am on a PDF here that you would receive if you purchase my Whole Shop bundle. If you have not repurposed the bundle, you're going to get a PDF with the option to download your GoodNotes sticker book or individual um, stickers, PNG stickers. It's going to work in the same way, so don't let this PDF throw you. So you're going to click on the GoodNotes sticker book and then it's going to take you to Dropbox. You're going to allow this to open. We're going to a different uh, website. That's why I asked that. It's going to take us to Dropbox. Now you do not need the app. You do not need to make an account to download any of my sticker books from Dropbox. This is very important. This page sometimes freaks my customers out because it says can't load this file. That is completely understandable if you really think about it because it is a good notes file not a dropbox or just a regular pdf so what we're going to do is we're going to download anyway because i am in the portrait mode you are not seeing a download arrow this has just recently changed for dropbox if you are using your device in portrait mode just rotate it and then at the top you're going to see make sure i'm lined up this arrow here. That's what we need to do to download any of the files from Dropbox now if we cannot be in portrait mode on the iPad. So click on that, click on download. So this blue pop-up window we do want. So we're going to click on download. This is just confirming we're going to download our file onto our device on the iPad. You can see it downloading. So any of the pop-up windows that you get just close and ignore. The only goal you have is to get to dropbox.com and to download your file onto your device. We're not opening files, we're not sending them, we're just downloading them onto our device. So I'm gonna rotate this back around because I like to work in portrait mode. I'm going to go to my um, digital planning app, which is GoodNotes, which you have to use GoodNotes to use the GoodNotes sticker book. It will not work otherwise. Go to your GoodNotes, go to your homepage. Oh, did I not click it? Hello, homepage, there we go. And what we're gonna do is well, we're jumping around over here. My internet must be slow. Did I not click? There we go, home page. So what we want to do is import our planner. So we're going to click on the empty rectangle with the plus sign. I'm going to click on import. It's going to show me my most recently downloaded items. So I'm going to go to my recents. And right there is my budget sticker book in my zip folder, which is my GoodNotes app. So you may have to find if you stored it in your downloads or on your iPad. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on open. It's going to automatically pull it into my GoodNotes app. So this is gonna take a second, depending on the internet speeds where you live and your device will determine how fast this is going to import. So here we are, we're already imported. Sometimes it pops up on the screen and it's not 100% imported. So if it goes slow at first, that's just because it's still loading. But this is your this is the GoodNotes sticker book, the budget stickers. So I'm going to slide open um, to get to my first page with all my choices. So I could go ahead and click on all of these icons or I can click on the outside tabs here if I wanna to get to a different section. So you do need to know about the two modes when you are in um, GoodNotes. You're gonna have the hyperlink mode and the read-only, um, or the editing mode. Right now we're in the read-only mode, which means hyperlinks will work, so we'll click on that. Then we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's gonna take me to my first page. Now the way you get these stickers out of your GoodNotes sticker book is to turn on your editing mode you're going to go to the lasso tool, which is the little dotted rope. If you're not seeing it and you're in portrait mode, don't forget your toolbar can move back and forth. So you click on your lasso tool, you make a really small little circle on your sticker you want and you hold down. It kind of highlights it. Then you're going to click on copy from this pop-up bar, go to copy, and then I already have a planner open. So usually I have two tabs going if I'm gonna go ahead and transfer any stickers. So let me go to my January, oh, I'm in my hyperlink mode here. Let me go to my January tab real quick. Now anywhere on the page, anywhere on the planner, if you hold your Apple Pencil down, give it a second, and then click paste, it's gonna show you that sticker. Then I could go ahead and move it to where I want. When I'm done moving it and I have it just where I want, I click off of it and then now you can go ahead and edit on your sticker. Like if I wanted to go ahead and write something because that has a spot to write, I could turn on my pen tool, write on it. If you expand your page, it's going to expand the picture so it'll make it easier to write on. 
If I wrote something I didn't want, I can go ahead and erase it. But let's say now I want to remove that sticker. I didn't decided I didn't want it there. If you click back on this little icon that looks like the mountain with the sun, click on that, and then you click on any image you have on your page that you want to remove, I can click on it. It's going to give me the red circle with the X, and I can remove it. That's how easy that is. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please message me on Etsy. Thank you for watching.